thank you for stopping by the Alabama Woodsman, a channel of satire, comedy, and entertainment, basically a channel of me just calling it the way I see it. If you like what you see, hit the like button, maybe subscribe, and if you don't, be sure to leave a comment down below so I can take that comment and make a funny video about what you said. Well, we're here again with hometown heretic Timothy Dixon, and this is another another embarrassing uh, display of of showmanship. This this uh, this this prophet of God uh, is needs needs to have his own circus. He really does. Uh, let's let's just get right into it and. Unfortunately, there's going to be a lot of commentary, but I'm going to let this run a little bit because this is this is YouTube gold right here. This is this is solid gold. There are other commentary videos on this uh, video on YouTube. Um, there's some really funny ones, but I just kind of wanted to add some things that I thought about, some things that I saw and my own perspective. So let's get right into the video. Um, it starts out. One of the most goofy openings I've ever seen in my life. Uh, so I'm going to add to it. In a world that elevates prophets of God to rock star status, it's easy for a young man to grow up and want to be one. All you have to do is, one, have dreams no one can dispute. Two, make general predictions that can mean anything you want them to mean. Three, know how to access YouTube and other media. Four, open your videos with the traditional, thus saith the Lord, because we all know God speaks the King's English even if you don't. Five, explain away dreams when they don't come true because after all, you're the prophet of God. He has to do what you say. And six, Set up the camera, make sure the angles look hot. And finally, be sure to look like you're crying without shedding a tear. It helps if you cover your face. Oh, Rabonia, yeah, vos sabrete. Lamb of God, Lamb of God, Lamb of God, Lamb of God. Oh, Jesus. Holy, 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 holy. Oh, Lamb of God. Lamb of God, Lamb of God, Lamb of God. For the Lord would speak to this nation and speak to this country. I guess the Lord wants to cover his bases and speak to the nation and the country. Because just speaking to the nation is not good enough. He's got to speak to the country as well. Typical false prophet speak noticed. The blood of the innocents and the blood of the children cries to me from the ground, saith the Lord God. Know that you hide behind the Rome. I see you hide behind the officials of the Catholic Church in Rome. But your sins is great. So we've talked about this in the past. Your sins is great. So the Lord speaks to his people in the king's English, but he can't get, he can't get your sins are great. He has to say your sins is great. This is very common in Southern English in the United States. Your ears are, I'm sorry, your ears is, your ears, your eyes is, your hands is, but it's not proper English. Jesus, our Lord, I promise you, has perfect command of the English language. Of the martyrs and the tortures that you brought to the children 
As the blood runs through the street, saith the Lord, I see. I see the cries and I hear the sound. Ladies and gentlemen, he just said, I heard the sounds. I hear the sound of the ones that cries as you pick them up from the streets of California. As you pick them up from the streets of Mexico and all through the country. Know that my eyes is upon you, saith the Lord God. I've tried to warn you and I've shook, I've shook Italy. I guess this is his reference to a volcano eruption, Mount Etna. Uh, Sicily, Google Earth, Mount Etna is in Sicily. It's not on the mainland of Italy. It's a tiny, tiny detail that Jesus didn't know about. Oh, turn from your wicked ways. I allowed you to see the evil. I allowed you to see the wickedness. I allowed you to see the blood that was being spilt in the streets because your eyes would not believe it and your heart would not receive that that's going on behind the closed doors and in the closets of America and across Italy. Hear me, ye rulers of Italy. My hands are stretched out against you. Saith the Lord God, and before the before the sun goes down in your country, my hands will once again shake that continent. Folks, trust me. Jesus knows that Italy is a country and not a continent. He knows it. The Lord knows the difference in a country, Italy, and a continent. This is not the Lord. I don't care what this man says. His sheep, his Dixon sheep, will give him a pass. They will not hold him accountable. They will not see it. They will not hear it. They will not believe it because they love what he says. The content of what he says is garbage. It sounds good. It sounds like it should be from the Lord, but it's, I know, Billy, it's not. It's not from the Lord. By the way, Billy's my bird. How shake it! Turn from your ways and repent of the sins and the repent of the blood that you've run through the streets up under St. Peter's Square of the hidden passages my eyes is upon you, saith the Lord. My eyes is upon the evil that you brought forth in this hour. And know that I send my prophets and my apostles and my men. And in this hour, I send them forth with the word of a two-edged sword that shall bring it to pass, saith God. Nothing shall withhold, nothing shall be able to stand against the word that I've put inside their mouth. For instantly as they begin to prophesy, saith the Lord, my word shall come to pass. I'll speak the word and it shall come to pass instantly, saith the Lord. Of course, this man's talking about himself. He includes himself as one of the prophets who will speak and it will instantly come to pass, except this was posted on July 25th. And he's talking about the 4th and 5th, I'm sorry, it was June 25th, and he's talking about July 4, 5, and 6. And it's supposed to come to pass immediately according to this prophecy, except it hasn't. It hasn't come to pass immediately. Nothing that he has said has come to pass immediately, like he says in this video and other videos. He said this more than once. A lot of stuff that he says, he just likes saying it. So he says it over and over in different videos. It's not come to pass, which means he is zero for a thousand prophecies. See, folks, this is a performance. This is not a prophecy. This is a preaching. This is not a prophecy.
Because this is an hour of fulfillment. This is an hour of, of, of desolation. It's again released on June 25th of 2021. Talking about the 4th, 5th, and 6th of July 2021. Um, anybody see any desolation? <whistles> Nobody? No desolation? But it was supposed to come to pass immediately as it was spoken. Krapan. Didn't happen. Loser. It's an hour of restoration, saith the Lord. Hear me. Hear me, saith God. You'll be hung from your own gallows. Oh, You'll be hung from your own gallows, saith the Lord. Haman. What does Haman have to do with this? I think he's still talking about Italy. I don't know that they have gallows. He could be talking about America. I don't know that we have gallows. But what does Haman have to do with this? Haman is dead. Been dead. I mean, like in the ground, stinking dead. See, Timothy Dixon is calling out Haman. Jesus ain't got to call out Haman. Haman knows what he did. It's documented in the Bible. We all know what Haman did. This is more prophet speak. It adds legitimacy to everything he says, or so it's intended to. You built the gallows for Mordecai. But oh, you officials of the, of the guards, you officials of the royalness, I see you, saith the Lord, because of your filthy lucre, because of the power that runs inside your minds. Your ways have become evil, and you've tried to take the heart from this country of America. You've tried to take the blessings away, and you've tried through greed to gain the land and to turn it to a one, a one world organized. Okay, what you're seeing here is is. You ever heard of writer's block? Well, this is what I'll call ad lib block. He can't think about what to say because he's exhausted. He's had to make this up as he goes, try to keep the continuity, try to keep it all flowing, which he's failed tremendously. And he can't do it. And now his ad lib is suffering because he can't think fast enough what to say. But yet the Lord is telling him what to say, and he can't say it. False prophet, don't doubt me. Festation of wealth. I looked it up. No such word as festation. I'll try again, and if there is, I'll come back and correct this. Oh, hear me the day, saith the Lord. Hear my words. Open up your hearts and receive me today. For I'll send forth the spirit of Elijah. I send forth the spirit and the prophets. They shall go forth across this land. They'll go across the land, saith the Lord. As this word begins to go from this time, from this day, right now, saith the Lord, this word goes out across this nation and across the continents. And I shake them, saith God. I shake them with my word. And before, even as the sun goes down in Italy, you'll know that my hands are stretched out and is speaking to you. Brothers and sisters, if you're in Italy... 
and you've seen this video, would you please leave a comment? Just say, hey, Alabama Woodsman, I'm from Italy. I saw this video. This is what I think. Now, come on, Christians, don't lie for this man. If you're really not in Italy, don't say you are just to prove he's a prophet. I really want to know if you are in Italy and you're watching this, what you think about what this man is saying about Italy. I really would like to know. I'll melt the very sides of Edna. This man put out a video, and it's on his website too, I believe, <clears throat> that shortly after he prophesied about Italy, Mount Etna, being melted, that it erupted. I think his video actually said hours later. You can find this video. Of course, Mount Etna is in Sicily. But in that video, he himself said that Mount Etna has been erupting since February 16th. This is hardly a prophecy. I mean, we know volcanoes can erupt continuously for months and months. I'm, I'm not a, you know, somebody who studies volcanoes, but maybe even years. So this is nothing special. This is nothing special at all. That, that's like me saying, uh, you're going to pay your taxes next year. Uh, California is going to suffer forest fires. California is going to have blackouts and an earthquake and a hurricane will hit the southeastern United States next year. Really? A prophecy? It's a performance. I'll melt the very sides of it. It shall run down, cross off the mountains and across the valleys, down to the cities. The land shall crack, saith God. You've used a lot of my people. You've used a lot of my people that's there. You've hid behind them. But know that I see the righteous. I see you that's righteous. I see you that's praying. My eyes is upon the prayers. My eyes is upon you that's praying. And know that I'll stand with you in the time of your storm. That I'll stand beside you. And nothing shall by any means come against you and harm. Not one hair of your head, saith God. But I'll rain fire and brimstone down upon the evil that they've lurked. And destroyed these children's. Their blood has come up before me today. And I've put the words in my people and my men, men of God and prophets, to speak the word, cry loud. Your judgment is coming. Kill the innocence of the children. You've slayed them with your satanic cultivates. Again, a quick internet search, uh, word search. No satanic culturement couldn't find Kulchman. Can't even guess what Kulchman is. Oh, but God, I'm coming, saith the Lord. I'll overturn California. I'm going to shake you, saith the Lord God, with revival fire. And I'll overturn the evil and I'll reveal the sin. I'll put it on top of the, the rooftops and they'll be able to see. None shall be able to say that it was not so. I'll bring all the evil that's been out. That even, even as the senator. Oh, you said he, he had cancer, but it wasn't cancer. My eyes is upon you. It was not cancer. He poisoned him, saith the Lord. The fear, because of the fear of what was coming out. But know that I am the Lord God Almighty. And I have seen the ugliness. I've seen. 
I've seen the evil that you've done. I've seen the evil that you've done to the children. Oh, I will no longer tolerate the evil. I'll no longer tolerate the Satanists. You've destroyed the innocents. You've torn them and you've ripped them apart with your cultness, with your rituals and your beliefs. Know that you'll know that I am the God that created the world. Because my hands is against you. But them that are fall upon this rock you'll be broken but if the rock falls upon you you'll be ground to powder revival is springing forth saith God the 4th of July how rattle this world how rattle 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 the world. The fourth, the fifth, and the sixth. You'll know that there's an almighty God. I'll have my own display of power. From coast to coast. You'll know that I'm God. Saith the Lord almighty. Folks, if I would have told you this story, you would not have believed it. You, This is unbelievable. You would have called me a liar if I would have told you what you just saw. Why why are Christians tolerating this? Why are you not standing up and pointing your finger at this person and saying, you are not a prophet, you are a performer? Because that's what it is. It's a show. And it's pathetic. Okay, folks, that's it. I'm done. Thank you for stopping by the Alabama Woodsman. Uh, there is more to come. I appreciate you uh, taking the time to to watch this. I hope it helped somebody to see that this is nothing but showmanship, and it's not even very good. Our God is more solid and more in tuned and more precise than what you just saw. Come back and see us again. God bless.